Cooking Fam, Chef Lori is here. Welcome back to the Up Lab. Today in Calabama cooking, we're making good old classic French onion soup. But don't worry, I think I might have a twist or two up my sleeve. <laughs> Come on in the kitchen, guys. Let's cook. Family, we're going to start this soup with sweet onions, okay? I'm using Vidalia onions. I've heard people using yellow onions and red, a whole mixture of onions, that's fine, but a good old yellow sweet onion is everything to me. So I've got about three pounds here of onions, which is really about five good-sized medallions. And I want you to see something. I've gone ahead and gotten the paper off and all of that. And I'm turning it this way to cut against the direction of, see how normally the direction of the grain is this way? I'm cutting it this way. And the reason I'm cutting it this way, see here, is because this will give us these beautiful half moons. See that? And that's what we want, okay? So I've already cut up most of them, and I wanted to save these to show you. Some people like to sliver them thin. You all know I ain't got that kind of patience, right? You can use your mandolin if you'd like to, but I'm not, I don't really feel like endangering my fingers. I've got a relatively fresh manicure, and um, yeah, I'm not feeling that, so I'm gonna do it this way. How about that? <laughs> and that's that, <laughs> all right? So I am slicing them thin, but I'm not slicing them paper thin, you know what I mean? But by all means, if you're not afraid of the mandolin, and I'm not afraid of it, but I just, some days, I'm not trying to mess up my manicure on accident. Okay. All right, so here are our onions. See that? Beauties cut up. We're gonna cook these in some butter, all right? Now, in cooking them in butter, you see I'm getting my induction going. <laughs> we wanna make sure, however, that we don't cook it too high. We're going to caramelize these onions. So I'm gonna start by just going ahead and putting them in. Some people like to add about a tablespoon of brown sugar to the onions as well to help them caramelize. You can do that, nothing is wrong with that, but can I be honest with you guys? I've done that before and the soup gets a little too sweet. So my recommendation is to just take your time Caramelize them with just the butter. You can use a little olive oil if you want to. Just chopping the rest of the side. This is a little big in that part. Okay? And when you're caramelizing onions, you gotta give it time. Okay, this is the longest part, the hardest part of the soup is caramelizing the onions. You do not want to speed it up. Don't turn the heat up, okay? All of that stuff don't because it looks like a mountain of onions, right? The first it's gonna cook down and look very jammy. Okay? Stir it up, get everything coated in that butter. It's gonna take about 45 minutes. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. Well, family, it has been about 45 minutes, yes. But I want you to see how beautiful these onions are. You see that? That's what you want. That is caramelized onions in their own wonderful sweetness, you know? The beauty of what I love so much about French onion soup is it does not have a lot of ingredients but it takes time to develop the flavor so that you can get the soup like you want. And this is the basis of everything. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some flour to thicken it up because y'all know I don't do loose soups. I'm gonna add some flour. This is a half a cup. I'm not gonna use this much because it doesn't need this much, okay? But I just wanna be ready. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle the flour in. It's about a quarter cup, that's enough, okay? If we need more, we can always go back and add more, amen? And amen. Okay, see here? We're just stirring this in so we can get incorporated fully with our onions. My husband likes, them, likes his soups to be hearty. And you'll notice, I don't know if you can see the bottom of the pan or not, but we have like what seems like burning on the bottom of the pan. That's okay, because we're going to deglaze that. Okay, now that we've got the flour fully incorporated and it has absorbed the liquid from our, the onions and the butter, we're gonna take, this is just a dry white wine. Oh, okay, it's not a cup, that's all you need. You don't need a ton. But we're gonna put it in there and it's going to go ahead and give us these flavors. See how I'm using this to lift up the flavors from the bottom? Oh, oh I'm so excited. I am so excited, I am. Oh, it smells so delicious. Oh, got a little bit left. Okay, and then we're going to add beef broth to this, okay? See that? Oh. So excited. All right, you know how I do broth, you guys. First, we're gonna go ahead and start with our water. Using about six to eight cups, however much you think you need for you and yours. 
okay? Then here is my broth. This is beef broth. You can use chicken broth, beef, anything. I like beef broth with this uh, because I like the, the depth of flavor that it adds to the soup. But you can also use chicken broth, right? But um, actually, what I was going to say <laughs> it was you can use red wine as opposed to a white wine to deglaze this with. And that gives you a depth of flavor too. But I have found that if you use a white wine to deglaze it with, you actually get a nice balance. With white wine with the beef broth, you get a really nice balance of flavors. So now that I've got all this in there, I've got my broth in there, that's the concentrate. I'm gonna take a little time and pop it in there as well. We'll take it out when it's done. And we're gonna let this come to a boil. And as it comes to a boil, it will thicken like we like it. And if we want it to be thicker, we'll just take that other flour and mix it in with a little bit of broth and put it in there, right? While our soup is simmering, we're gonna go ahead and start on our croutons, the nice big piece of bread that goes on the top of French onion soup that gives it a signature, right? So I've got here just a loaf of French bread. You can honestly get anything you want, okay? This is not a picky thing. You can get ciabatta, you can get sourdough. I can even pick up bread, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna slice this up. All right, we'll get that going. And we're going to also, oh look, this is the rind of my Gruyere cheese. Drop it in. We're gonna also take some Gruyere and we're gonna give it a nice fresh grating. This is one of those times when you really wanna go ahead and splurge on the good cheese, okay? Now, if Gruyere is not available in your market, or if you're like, I'm just not paying that much for cheese, use Swiss, <laughs> but you can even use cheddar. It won't taste the same. It'll be like your version of French onion soup, and it'll be onion, caramelized onion soup. <laughs> I don't know. My point is, don't feel like you can't make the soup if you can't find or you don't wanna buy Gruyere cheese but just take it from me. If you can and you do, everybody will thank you. I have grabbed some French bread and I'm just gonna take this and put it on our pan here to toast it, okay? And I'm just gonna toast it a little bit so it gets a nice little crunch to it, okay? I'm gonna put a little olive oil on it. Just a little, just a smidge, see? And we're gonna throw this in the oven around 425, 450, just for a couple minutes so it starts to get a little toasty. Well, family, our soup has cooked beautifully. Look at that. Confession, I did add some flour and thicken it up a little bit. Okay, I did. Here are our toast, our croutons that we're ready to put on there and our freshly grated Gruyere cheese. So we're gonna go in here. First thing we're gonna do is find that thyme spray. Remember the thyme spray we had? Here it is. And that cheese, the cheese will melt a little bit in there, but we wanna still go ahead and get out whatever rind is left and get this little piece of thyme out. Now, last step, we're gonna serve the soup in this, like so, okay? See how I thickened it up just a little bit? I didn't go crazy with it. When you serve it though, leave it yourself about a half inch space at the top, okay? Oh boy. And what we're gonna do next is put these croutons on there. Now, I like using a wide bowl and you wanna get these crisp, right? See that? So when you put them in there, they have something to absorb that liquid. I put two or more in here because we're bread people around the house. Oh my God, I'm, so, I'm beyond myself with excitement here. Okay. And now we're gonna get our fresh beer. Actually, this one needs one more little crouton right there, see that? Here we go. And we're gonna just gunk it on. I mean, put it on there. We're gonna put this in the oven, put it on the broiler, okay? Because all we're trying to do is melt the cheese. So put the broiler on high, medium or high, it's up to you, and keep an eye on, because it, it doesn't take long. Here are our soups out of the oven. Now this is my little calabama I sprinkle a little touch of bacon on it. I don't put the bacon in it, okay? because I think that would mess up everything. I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't think bacon needs to be in this soup. I think bacon needs to be on this soup. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Calabama French onion soup. <laughs> oh my God, this looks so good. I cannot wait to dig in. It's too hot right now for me to touch, but this is gonna be the best ha, ever. Thank you for joining me. 
I will see you guys next time right back here in the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with your girl, Chef Lourdes. That's me. Happy cooking.